aussi pour la ligne d'arrivée de la Transat B2B. Ça approche. Hé hey, hey, attention. 10, 7. Tout bien gagné Yes Yes It was an elated François Gabard who crossed the finish line of the Transat B2B just after midnight today, Thursday the 15th of December. The race organisers made the decision early this morning to shorten the race. The reason? Extreme and exceptional weather conditions in the Bay of Biscay. With winds in excess of 80 knots and a phenomenal sea state, the decision was taken to keep the fleet south and out of the worst of the weather. So, in the end, the weather gate became the finish line, allowing boats and skippers to rest, choose their moment and bring the boats back in a seamanlike and safe manner. Francois Gabard completed the course in 9 days, 9 hours, 11 minutes and 30 seconds. To finish with this time he had sailed a total of 3,168 miles at an average speed of 14.07 knots. Not only the second youngest skipper in the race and his first solo race in an Imoca 60, he has also just qualified for the Vendée Globe starting next year. In second place, Armel Lucléache on his Imoca 60 Bonk Populaire, he crossed the line four hours behind Gabar. He sailed 3,157 miles, slightly less than Gabar, but with an average speed of 13.78 knots. Eh ben, je suis parfait, écoute, euh, donc t'es du bonheur, là euh, Voilà, François a été euh, fort euh, tout le monde, donc il va falloir en dire, et puis, euh, bah, c'est ça, bah, on est euh, beaucoup plus l'air en jusqu'à là, ça va aller jusqu'à l'Orient, il reste encore un, un petit peu de chemin à faire. In third position was Vincent Ryu on board PRB. Ryu was quick, very quick in fact, as he racked up an average speed of 14.2 knots over 3,287 miles since the bars. Just short of a podium was Mike Golding, who finished just before 10 o'clock French time. The skippers of the Transat B2B must now head towards Lorient. Free from the pressures of racing, they will be able to reduce sail area and choose the safest route to their final destination in Brittany.